Hey, good evening. This time in 2020, the streets were filled with activists here in Raleigh demanding that police and local leaders do better. And a big part of that request was to defund the police. Today, there's no signs of that message either in the street or in our police budgets. Hands up! Fast forward to 2022 and these chants have not translated to slash police budgets. In fact, our investigation found the opposite has happened. Dollars to Raleigh, Durham and Fayetteville Police Departments continue to go up. The city of Durham is funding slightly fewer officers, but the number is increasing in Raleigh and Fayetteville. While the funds for police are up, so are the funds for the whole city, which means these departments are still getting the same share of the overall pie. But for some, that's still a problem. When you see city budgets related to police departments increase, year after year. What does that say and mean to you? Uh, it says that we still don't get it. It says that, it says that our, policy, our politicians don't get it. McMillan found the Fayetteville Police Accountability Task Force that has worked for years to achieve police oversight and accountability. The group also supports the defund movement. The heart of what McMillan and others are advocating for isn't really about stripping away officers and public safety resources. It's about reallocating some of those funds to support the community better. Support Fayetteville Police Chief Gina Hawkins agrees is needed. We absolutely support um, dealing with education, dealing with mental health, dealing with um, a lot of community issues. We support that. But the implication was that somehow we were funded with money to take care of that, and that never happened. She believes while the dollars haven't gone down, nothing has stayed the same at all. We, we have changed a great deal um, from the training that we received, from our awareness, from um, our perception. Fayetteville Police also added mental health and homelessness liaison officers. You credit them with standing up and, and hiring liaisons, but if they want true justice and accountability, they've got to go much further than that. Since 2020, Raleigh Police launched a team of officers and social workers to tackle homelessness, mental health, and substance abuse calls. The city of Durham also recently kickstarted a program that allows mental health counselors to respond alongside police. Police lobbyist John Midget believes the defund movement is continuing to have another impact beyond just budgets. People aren't talking about defunding the police anymore, but they have in fact defunded the police. The police have almost defunded themselves. Egypt points to the culture and perception surrounding law enforcement and lack of due process when officers are scrutinized. We had officers realizing that no one had their back and that to just to try to do their job to protect citizens, they were being accused of not only being racist, but murderers and, and having no respect for the, for the very job that they've dedicated their lives to do. While leaders, advocates, and police continue to have different opinions on how to achieve public safety, all sides agree that investing in more community resources is needed. The police have been given uh, uh, authorities that they're not qualified or equipped to handle. If you look to the root problems of this, there's a lot of mental health issues going on with that, with people desperate for help that, that they can't get it anywhere. So the officers want to be a, a part of that solution. Now, getting all these players on the same page at the same table together remains a challenge, but one that becomes increasingly more important as we continue to see an uptick in violent crime and shootings across our communities. For the I-Team, Samantha Coomer, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. That's right.